Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome to 3304. This is where I take a look at the news and happenings in and around Elite Dangerous. This week, Frontier are asking for entries to design a build board within the game. Distant Worlds 2 are looking for gatherers and resource collectors. And we get a very impressive look at the scale of ships. Many people over the years have set themselves the task of comparing ship sizes within Elite Dangerous. And by now, there have been many high quality examples of this, both in image and video form. Arguably, the best of these have been done by YouTuber Matt Ricardo, aka Commander Bungled Bear. His latest version of this video series now includes the Targoid Scouts, in addition to all other ships in the game. And not to forget, they also include a banana as well as a space loge. What may be truly surprising for many players of the game is the sheer size of the ships within Elite. A Sidewinder, for example, being the starter ship, is, aside from fighters, the smallest ship within the game. Yet even a ship of this size is larger or equal to a jet fighter in modern times. An Asp Explorer, meanwhile, is comparable in size to a passenger plane. The largest objects in the game, however, are of course the space stations, which are very close to four miles in length and dwarf even the capital ships of the Federation and the Empire. More often than not, it's difficult to impossible to get a true sense of the scale of things within the Elite world, and partially this is due to being in space provides very little in the way of a point of reference to judge size. Of course, the oversized cockpits of most of the ships also compounds this issue. That said, VR is probably the best way to get a true sense of scale, and indeed the size of things is one of the first things people notice when they first step into VR within Elite. At any rate, Commander Bungle Bear's uh, video provides a fantastic opportunity to finally see the size of ships in relation to each other. So if you're interested in that, then do check out the video. You can find a link in the video description below. Ranking among the best of the Elite Dangerous communities on the internet, the Elite Dangerous subreddit recently hit a new milestone with 125,000 registered subscribers. It's no understatement to say that these are great numbers for both the game as a whole, as well as the Elite subreddit specifically. To give some context to the size of this community, the Star Citizen subreddit sits at roughly the same number of subscribers, also at 125,000 members. The World of Warcraft sub, meanwhile, has 563,000 subs, and one of the biggest selling games of this year so far, Monster Hunter World, sits at 207,000 subscribers. So in terms of the active community size, Elite is certainly right up there. So great work then to all the subreddit moderators and admins, they really do a great job with the place. Distant Worlds, for me, was one of the best gaming moments in Elite Dangerous and was easily the game's largest exploration expedition and quite possibly the game's most famous event. Over 1,000 players got together to participate in an expedition that would last for many months in order to cross the vastness of the galaxy. Later this year, intended to coincide with the Chapter 4 release of Beyond, a new expedition will take place. That's right, Distant Worlds 2 is currently in the organisation phase. Already close to 2,500 players have signed up to the expedition, and with many more months still available until the expedition sets off, it's likely there will be hundreds of more players still to join. This will easily make it far larger than the first Distant Worlds, and you can find more details on the sign-out process in the video description. But that's not all. Distant Worlds 2 is currently looking for logistics volunteers. The idea behind this part of the venture will be to allow players to participate in the event even if they don't want to or are otherwise unable to go on the expedition itself. The volunteers will be able to collect and gather resources that will then be taken on the expedition itself. The resources can be delivered to various storage ships that will be undertaking the journey, or alternatively the players can take the resources along for themselves. Players who are interested in getting involved in this way can find all the details they need below. Do go check out the forum post. Distant Worlds 2 is something I'm very, very excited for, and keenly looking forward to. It's waiting for the new arrival of the uh, improved planets that are coming later this year, so it should all look pretty good. Not to mention, of course, the uh, new improvements and changes that are coming with squadrons and carrier ships. Many of the corporations within the Elite Galaxy may well have a vast reach, but even with this, they still rely heavily on adverts. This in turn has led to one very impressive graphical feature within the game, the holographic billboards. 
Now anyone who has flown up close to these and through them will likely be very impressed with the way the image resolves into a bunch of very small pixels. Frontier recently announced then the opportunity for players to design an advert that will be placed in-game on these billboards. The adverts need to be related to in-game elements and are not for the purpose of promoting player factions but instead can promote in-game information or even any background activity or superpower. The entry period is to run from now until the 15th of May and from this Frontier will then select designs from all these submitted entries. Finally, the chosen designs will then appear directly within the game on the aforementioned billboards. For further details on this, do check out the link below and it will take you directly to the forum thread from Frontier. That then brings us to an end of this episode of 3304. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.